Hello everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everyone is well. It has come time. Yes, it's that time again. And I apologize, I missed Friday's um, reading for the weekend, top and bottom of the deck. Things got crazy, things got hectic. My son had a half day of school and time got away from me. And then it was on to my work week. Again, I apologize. So, we're here now. So this is going to be another one of those specials, just kind of merging two readings into one. If some of the energies played out over the weekend and they might pop up, let me know if they do. And we will just hit you back on Friday for another weekend. But now on to the work week, top and bottom of the deck. For those of you who are new here, don't know how we do this, um, I go by the elements. So it's Scorpio season. Scorpio is a water sign, so I'll start with water, go around the wheel accordingly. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool. All right, it's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just reading cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's definitely okay, too. It might not. It's general. Every once in a while, the cards get real specific, and it might be a specific message for a specific viewer. I don't know. <laughs> If it's not your story, if it's not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. Check your moon rising, your Venus sign reading. It might resonate a little bit better. It might not. I don't know. I'm just reading cards. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. Time specifically. It's, it's not linear. It's really not. Not when it comes to the tarot. Sometimes the cards bring up things that happened a while back. Sometimes it brings up things that are about to happen. Sometimes it brings up things that are going on right here, right now. Again, time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It may even be vice versa. It might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot Table. And one more friendly reminder before we throw down cards for the water signs. If you are under the age of 18, I have to ask you to click out of this video and come find me on your 18th birthday, and we'll throw down some cards. This is not a channel geared toward children. And as a parent is and a YouTuber, I, I have to advise that you don't come in here and watch this video unless you have the express permission of your parents. I don't want to get hate mail from anybody's mom and dad. So please, if you don't mind, I appreciate your soul. I do. I appreciate your existence. But if you're under the age of 18, you just can't be in here. There's certain things that we discuss that are not child appropriate. There's certain words that occasionally fly out of my mouth that are definitely not child appropriate. So, that being said, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Wow. Hmm. I'm speechless. This has never happened before. I have a devil and a hierophant. Could be a Capricorn, could be a Taurus. Wow. You could, yeah, uh, wow. Y'all could be thinking about getting married. Or you could be bound in it in a toxic connection. The devil doesn't necessarily have to be toxic. It often is. It's the first thing that pops in my head when I see it. Could be things of a certain nature. If you know what I'm talking about, it's your reading. If you don't know what I'm talking about, things of a certain nature. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, let's figure out what happened. Tied and bound. That's a soulmate connection if I've ever seen one. Possibly a little toxic. Coffee's a little hot and heavy. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, this is where the toxicity might be coming in. Someone may have come in out of the cold, a little codependency going on. I'm afraid to throw a clarifier on it, but we're going to anyway. 
fast forward a little bit. Four of cups upright, five of cups in the reverse. Hmm. <sighs> Reflection and contemplation coming out of a state of sadness. Wondering if you should take the cup. Well, at least you're not looking down at three empty cups. The cups are definitely full of something. And it's in the upright, so I'm not sensing regret or remorse. Just contemplation. Do I want this cup? Hmm. All right. It's coming in for this week. Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Six of Pentacles in the upright. I don't know if that's walls tumbling down or nothing left to give. Hmm. Equal to give and take coming in. Let's get some clarifiers. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table? For my water sign friends, please. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's today's date? What was Friday's date? That's a better question. I'm getting a sense some of this might already be playing out. Friday was the 6th. 6th to the 13th. Darn it, I woke my phone up now that it's going to start blowing in with emails. I hate it when I do that. 6th to the 13th of November. Get back in there. We're just going to rough shuffle this. Cards are getting old and beat up. They still work though. Alright. Do you have something to say? No? They'll come out if they want to talk. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse came out. <sighs> That's not bliss. Some of you could be having money troubles. Trouble in Paradise? Financial issues. Can I get one more on this Devil and Hierophant, please? Death card. Things are changing. Could be a spiritual evolution going on for one of you. There's a tight connection. There's you may already be married if you're not already. That made no sense. Huh. Okay. I'm getting a sense of some toxic stuff going on. Getting a sense that someone's evolving faster than the other person. <sighs> King of Swords. King of Swords on top of this Five of Pentacles. Somebody had to make a logical head over heart decision in regards to somebody coming back in out of the cold. Hmm. Okay. Wisdom prevailed. Wisdom over emotion. 
one on this nine of pentacles please hi two of swords codependency difficult decisions on top of codependency no matter what you do no matter what you did somebody was gonna get hurt it was a double-edged sword codependent relationship potentially toxic logical decisions being made not emotional ones I don't know how I feel about that water signs Page of Pentacles. Oh, well. Possibly somebody came in with an apology and that's how they came in out of the cold. Okay. It's a Pentacle of the Ten. It's the beginnings of abundance. It's potential, but those Ten Pentacles are upside down right now not bliss. Why is the four cups hanging out? Could be now. Could be a little bit ago. Could be a little bit from now. Four cups. Ace of Wands reversed. Wondering what's in the cup. Wondering if you should take it. This Ace of Wands hesitation. Hesitation on moving forward. And why is the five of cups reversed here? Hi. Ten of Wands upright, Empress. You could potentially have children together. This Ten of Wands could be more of a burden without them than with them. It's one of those. Codependency. Oof. Hmm. Oof. One time together, please. That Ace of Wands justice came out to tie them together. Fairness, equality, possibly justice where there's been injustice in the past. Hmm. Why is it Ace of Wands reversed here? Because I don't know if that's hesitation moving forward with them or hesitation moving away from them. Depends on what's in the cup, I guess. Three of Swords reversed. It was reversed when it hit the table. Coming out of that state of heartbreak, coming out of that state of sadness. This hurt, but you're bound. There's something that ties you together, but one of you is evolving faster than the other. There, there's money trouble. And if it's not money trouble, it's very at least a little trouble going on in paradise. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're together for the kids. I don't know. I've been there, though. Two of Cups reversed and the Wheel of Fortune came out. Without intention, I'm going to leave them right over there. That is separation due to the ending of a cycle. Wow. Why is the Nine of Wands reversed here for what's coming in? I hate it when they hit the floor. Good thing I'm in yoga pants. Six Wands reversed. Mm, ah. Excuse me. The domestic partner is freaking dad jokes, let me tell you. <laughs> Neon's out in the kitchen, by the way, though. I'll bring her in to say hi in a minute. 
Oh. Oh. Nine of Wands reversed, Six of Wands reversed. Got nothing left. No victory coming after the battle. Ain't got nothing left. Mm. Oh, water signs. Fool comes out. Might be time to start new cycles, new journeys. Mm. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? This energy is weird. I don't know how I feel about it. Whoa. Lovers and the Magician. Some of you could be deciding that you got nothing left and you're ready to go off and do something new. Manifesting new connections with new people. Something that's a little more equal give and take. Lover's card popping out. Some of you may already have your eyes on somebody else or the other person involved has their eyes on somebody else. All things being fair and equal, vice versa. Let's get your advice, water signs. Oh boy. Oh boy. Page of Pentacles upright, Queen of Swords reversed. You have to maintain a positive attitude. It takes two. It really does. You have to maintain a positive attitude. You have to think things through. You have to be honest with each other if this is going to work. It takes two parties for abundance to happen. And you have to keep that in mind. You have to be on the same level. Or at very least on the same page. At the very, very least in the same book. Two of Cups in the reverse, Eight of Wands in the reverse. You have to try to main that, maintain that connection and maintain that communication or you're not going to get anywhere you're literally going to be dead in the water. So I think y'all just need to sit down and have an honest conversation about what page y'all are on in what book. Know what I'm saying? I mean, you had the Hierophant and the Devil card. I'm just sensing for some of you that it's just one of those weird connections wouldn't work out in a million other years with anybody else. You ever been in one of those weird connections? I've been in one of those weird connections. I'm still in one of those weird connections. <laughs> but I stopped questioning the universe about that a long time ago. We're not talking about me though. All right, water signs. We're going to clear the decks and go on to our fire sign friends. So weird. Hmm. So, you know, I try to make it as general as possible. But the cards don't always let me work out that way, you know? Sometimes it is indeed a special message for someone who needs to hear it. Okay, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm missing a piece of quartz. I think my son steals them. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 6th through the 13th. Yeah, I know it's a couple days late. I'm sorry. Mm. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 6th through the 13th. I'm just hoping I can get November readings up this week. That's what I'm really hoping for. I'm just hoping that the chaos kind of calms down in my life so I can do that. And I can get caught back up on my personals because I know there's a couple of people who have been waiting. You know who you are. And I'm deeply sorry. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Two of Wands upright, double reversed. Oh. Disconnecting from something that was potentially toxic. Very binding at the very least. Letting go of that wand of the past and moving on toward the world before you. Okay, fire signs. What happened? Six of the swords upright, temperance upright. Sagittarius, you just showed up. A Capricorn and Sagittarius on the board. For those of you who keep track of that, if it's setting off alarms in your gr brain, great. If it's not, leave it on the table. Wait for it. You moved on from something. Possibly moved on to a connection that a little more balanced, a little bit more stable. Person possibly a little bit more patient. More positive energy flow, maybe. Throw clarifiers on it in a second. What happened after that? Five of Wands and the Four of Pentacles reversed, huh? Confrontation. Confrontation and release. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right, what's going on this week? The tower upright, seven of swords reversed. Oh. <laughs> First impression, somebody coming back with truth going to bring the house down. Moving forward, letting go of that rod of the past, moving forward toward the world before you, disconnecting from something that was potentially toxic, doesn't necessarily have to be, or just very binding. Walked away from something, moved toward something else. This is definitely getting clarified. I don't even know what happened here. Universe, source, spirit. Guess it gets some clarity on the cards and table for my fire sign, friends, please. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 6th through the 13th. Get back in there. They're going to come out as they come out anyway. Can I get one on the two of wands and the double reversed, please? Just one and only one. Ten of swords flipped as it came out. Painful cycle had to come to an end. That, that's what happens when we move forward and we disconnect from things that are bad for us. Or potentially bad. We're ending painful cycles. We're allowing the sun to shine again in our lives. And sometimes that takes having ten swords stuck in your back. Just saying. Sometimes it takes something extremely painful to realize that something wasn't good for us. And there are fire signs. Say. 
were, were those were those darn gosh how do I sum this up in a nutshell sometimes we have to get burned by the fires of life to learn that things hurt we have to walk up to that hot pan on the stove as children and it doesn't matter how much mom and dad say you're gonna get burned don't touch it you're gonna get burned don't touch it we still touch it we still get burned because that's how we learn <laughs> we have to experience it it's how we it's how we are it's how I was my sister's an Aries is how she was Three of Cups reversed popped out. We're going to throw that right there. Another disconnect card. Some of you could be getting away from a third party situation, but I don't have another three on the table, so take that for the grain of salt that it might be worth. If another three pops out, we'll talk about it. Oh, why is Six of Swords here? Shadow side reversed. Moved away from something toxic. It's the devil reversed all over again, by the way. So I'd point that out. Went to the other side of the mountain, other side of the river, other side of the lake. I mean, they're in a hot air balloon in this particular one. So you definitely went away from something. You moved forward. You took your, your swords with you. Your thoughts. Maybe you had to walk away to collect your thoughts. Why is temperance here? I'm not taking 20 cards. Top of that was the nine of cups in the reverse. We'll see if it comes back out. Knight of Swords reversed. Sometimes temperance comes from silence. Sometimes blocking communication helps you get your bearings back. Maybe that's what happened here. And communication was cut off so the energy flow would improve. Sometimes you gotta miss each other. <laughs> Example, you know, some of my exes and I are very good friends now. One in particular, we didn't speak for years. I haven't physically, like, had physical contact with him. Gosh, 14 years, almost. Almost 14 years. We talk all the time. And it took a very long time to get to that point. But we had to block the communication. Nobody's talking. I had to change my phone number. I did. I did. It's like, you know what? I don't want to deal with you right now. We'll talk about this later. But we're good friends now. Sometimes that's what it takes to improve energies between people. That code of silence. One time together, please. Can I get one for the Six of Swords and Temperance, please? And sometimes things can get toxic by oversaturation, too. It's not necessarily someone doing shady things that they shouldn't be doing or engaging in activities they shouldn't be doing. Sometimes it's just oversaturation. Nine of Swords. There's a lot of sleepless nights here. A lot of sleepless nights. Okay, why, why's the Five of Wands here? Why's the Five of Wands here? This may not be current energy. This is, it could be, possibly, or it could just be what happened after this. So, Five of Wands, confrontation. The confrontation could have been from someone not accepting the fate of the situation. Hangman reverse. Someone remaining emotionally hung up on the situation. Oh, hi. You came out to play. We'll take you. Page of Cups. There could have been the extension of an olive branch, a 
I know we're not getting along, but I still love you and I always will. That's the vibe I'm getting off of that. Not necessarily a, I don't accept this, but uh, I still love you. I always will. And I don't care how you feel about it. That's the vibe I'm getting about that. Okay. Why the Four of Pentacles reversed her? Ten of Wands. It's like, okay, that's... It's upside down. So I'm sensing somebody released the other party, but didn't release the burden that went along with it. Because someone was left very burdened by this emotionally. And that never ended. The I release you, but it still hurts. More on that, please. Hi. Magician. Hmm. Could have been an Aries. So far I got Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aries. Uh, the tower can be represent, can represent Scorpio. I got a little bit, a little bit of air, a little water. A little bit of earth, a little bit of fire. The magician. One on the magician, please. Okay, I'll take two. There's that doggone tower again and the six of cups. I'm hearing I love them enough to let the tower fall. Release the person. Carry the burden. I love you enough to let the tower fall. And for you to go off and manifest new things in your life. That is amazing. Fire signs. That is stoic. Wow. Wow. Okay, now I want to know what's going on this week. Why is this tower here? Nine of Cups reversed. There it is. It came back out. Towers are falling. Someone is not happy. Nine of Wands. Eight of Swords. Hmm. I'm leaving that alone for a second. Why is the Seven of Swords reversed here? The Star. Oh, wow. Hi. How we doing? Uh, the moon reversed. That's another secrets revealed. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Divine timing, healing, coming back, speaking truth. Towers coming down. One last push. Can I get one to tie these two together, please? 
I wonder how this all makes sense. Sorry. <coughs> King of Swords. Speaking truth. Guarding emotions. Wow. Fire signs. Bound by our thoughts. Bringing down towers, speaking truth, bringing healing. Things coming to fruition. King of Wands reversed, King of Pentacles reversed. Somebody in this scenario was still very heavily burdened and had to release someone not wanting to do it. And now we come to here. Truths will be spoken. And someone is all wrapped up in this. And with these two reversed kings next to this upright one, pride is being swallowed. Truth is being spoken. Wow, fire signs, wow. Okay, well, let's get some advice. Moon in the upright, hangman in the reverse. Don't stay hung up on things that were never revealed to you. The universe reveals all things in time. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, Eight of Wands in the reverse. Don't let the lack of communication and a lack of forward movement take away from who you know you are. It's the sense I'm getting from that. Like I was saying earlier, sometimes you need that little bit of a break. Ace of Swords in the upright, Three of Wands. Again, truths will be spoken in time, and there's a season for it. You can wait around all day long for it, but if it's going to stop you from progress. Is that healthy? I don't think so. Don't keep yourself up at night about this. One more. Seven of cups upright knight of wands in the reverse. Be careful of what cup you take. Be mindful of whatever decision you make. And don't let it stop your progress. Whatever's coming in this week, I think it's necessary. It's going to be shocking. But at the same time, it's going to be healing and it's going to make you realize something about yourself. About yourselves, both of you. Wow. Fire signs. Good luck. Whew. Let me know what happens. I got everything about a return card. Ooh. 
What? All right, I want to see what's going on with my Earth signs this week. Water and fire got some crazy energy going on. What's going on with Earth? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 6th through the 13th. Cards getting old and beat up. Good thing Christmas is coming. Justice popped out. We'll see if it comes back out. Three of Wands reversed. Someone hung up on the fact that somebody didn't wait. Prince of Cups reversed. Ten of Wands reversed. Oh. Words left unspoken. Burdens not released, cycles not closed. What happened after that? Five of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Well, looks like you worked things out. Huh. Okay. What happened after that? It's coming in this week. King of Wands upright. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Oh, good. And, oh, good. And, You're going to realize what you don't want to put your energy into. Okay. Universe, Source, and Spirit. I'm not taking 20 cards. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my Earth signs, please? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 6th through the 13th. Hi. Nine of Pentacles upright. Not waiting around. You're strong, you're independent, you're doing your own thing. Your own wealth, your own prosperity. It's not terrible. You might still be slightly hung up, but you're not waiting around. Why is the Prince of Cups reversed here? The tower, well, it happens. It happens. One more. Thanks. And a sword's reversed. <sighs> Words left unspoken. Towers fall. Some of us go absolutely bat poop bonkers. Some of us just put it out of your head. Just let the tower fall. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. <laughs> Why is the ten of wands reversed here? Star in the upright. <sighs> the 
You know, healing's really hard to do if you don't release the burden first. Carts and horses, guys. Carts and horses. The moon reversed. Some of you may have some truths that you still need to get off your chest. Hmm. Okay. Super strange. Why is the Five of Wands here? A little bit farther into the... F a little bit farther down the road and... A little bit closer to the now. Five of Wands. Gonna keep hitting the floor. Nine of Cups. Confrontation. Possibly a confrontation about someone trying to find their happiness. Chariot reversed. Could have been a return. Could have been being pulled into different directions. Four of swords. Laying it to rest. Releasing the burden. Finding your happiness after the struggle. Why is the ten of cups here? Ace of Wands reversed. Oh, that would be why. King of Pentacles. You realized your worth. Some of you may have taken the road less traveled, found your happiness, found your abundance, found the catch that you were looking for. Maybe it's after you allowed yourself to heal, you're finally able to release that burden and close that cycle out. Sometimes things just have to change, people change. You have to lay things to rest, just kind of pull the chariot, pull the chariot over and realize what you want in your nine cups to find the tenth one and realize what you don't want. Okay. Okay, why is the king of wands here for what's coming in this week for my earth signs? That's funny. Ten of pentacles upright. You're moving forward. You're going to find your abundance. You're going to close out another cycle. It's about achieving goals. Hey, nine plus one is ten. <laughs> Page of Pentacles reversed. Apology rejected. Whoever this joker was up here that had you all emotionally hung up, the one that you're not waiting on anymore. The one that just kind of left you stranded, not saying anything, let the tower fall, left you so burdened till you found out truth. Hmm. You were able to heal from that. That's amazing. I 
I think if they decide to come back, you're going to be like, you know what, you're a page. I I'd rather have the king. I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to take the bigger, better offer. Because I waited around for you long enough. Right on. And you're going to decide you don't want to put energy into that anymore. I'm not even going to clarify that Eight of Pentacles reversed. Let's get your advice. Why not? Queen of Cups upright. Tower. Sometimes you have to love yourself enough to just let the damn tower fall. Towers fall for a reason. You understand that, right? Sometimes the universe just, you know, sends the storm and sends the tower falling to make room for the tower that's supposed to be in your life. The tower that you're supposed to build. Is that bad? No. Not necessarily a bad thing. Sudden and abrupt change is really all it is. Sometimes you just gotta love yourself enough to let the darn tower fall. Magician upright, seven of swords reversed. So you can manifest the tower that you want there. Your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations, your power of yourself. Without the lies and deception and the crap. So this is the situation you're in, just let the tower fall. Why rebuild it? And definitely don't rebuild it based on lies. If you're going to rebuild a tower, you better rebuild it based on truth. Okay. Earth signs, that's what we have for you. Let me know what happens. Whew. Wow. It's getting late. I dropped a card. I should probably pick that up. And I gotta get to my air signs. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Still in the middle of a major house overhaul, too. I got that new little miniature SUV. You know, the new car I had to buy. So, maybe packing that up this week with things that have to go an hour and ten minutes away to the storage unit. And bringing home some things that I'm not sure why the heck they're still in the storage unit. Because I can really use them here. You know, that kind of stuff. That kind of thing. It's like, oh my gosh. I can't even... I don't even remember getting this, let alone having it. Sometimes I wonder if my... Um, dad didn't sneak up here before he died and put stuff in my storage unit without me knowing. I don't know. That, 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 like, 23 months is still kind of a blur. You know, between my mother passing and shortly after my father passed, it's all a blur. I got stuff I don't even remember getting, so. Anyway. Enough about me. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Come on. Let's try that one more time. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 6th through the 13th. me. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, Eight of Cups in the upright. You are no longer putting effort or energy into something. You are walking away. <laughs> okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. What happened? Hermit upright, Page of Swords reversed. Lack of communication or cut off in communication kind of forced you to really 
just go back to center and self-reflection maybe find the inner light work on you heal yourself be at peace right on okay happen after that knight of pentacles reverse six of cups reversed oh well wow. oh wow possibly <laughs> I just heard it's not what they said it's what they didn't say kind of caused a little salt in the water here that's rough things just kind of went stagnant hmm. up to bad taste in somebody's mouth going on this week oh oh wow hmm mm hmm not putting energy into something walking away self-reflection lack of communication it's not what you said it's what you didn't say and here comes that happy little page of Pentacles this week with the ten of wands reversed why is the ten of wands reversed Huh. Getting a sense that somebody in this scenario is having a hard time getting something off their chest. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's get some clarity. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards in the table for my er, air sign, friends, please? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. November 6th through the 13th. Huh. Okay. Huh. I'm just going to free shuffle it anyway. I just wanted to make sure the cards got good and mixed up. Any flyers? Any flyers? One. Karma. Resurrection of the Dead. Hmm. Maybe karma might be coming into play for some of you. Reaping what you sow. Hmm. Oh, wow. It's what they didn't say, not what they said. Hmm. Just went in my brain. I'm gonna clarify that. I think I got that one. I don't need to clarify that either. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Six of Wands. Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords reversed. Okay. The Return. Someone wants to end a painful saying. Someone may want to apologize. It's that apology that you didn't get. Might be coming for you this week. Someone wants to end the cycle. Someone wants the sun to shine again. They want to be able to sleep at night. So they make them crawling back and not even necessarily crawling. It's the king poop of turd mountain, if you will. Mm. Yeah, I'm back. I, I'm getting a sense somebody's a little bit cocky. Possibly very cocky. I have something to offer you, but it's not what I could have offered you and didn't. A while ago it's, it's slightly less because I've been investing my time and energy into other things when I should have been investing it into you so now I have less to invest it's one of those <laughs> but I have it for you 
Mm, that's where the resurrection card comes in. But you've already decided that you're not investing any more time and energy into this, and you walked away. Some of you. Hmm. All right, well, that's what happens when you make a judgment call. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed here? Four of Swords reversed, restless energy. Getting something off their chest. Possibly the apology that they couldn't give before. Restless energy, they want the sun to shine again. One more. Hi, where'd you go? Where'd you go? King of Swords reversed. Oh. Oh. Emotional decision time. Letting your heart get away from you. Don't be doing that, air signs. Oh. I'm not taking like 20 cards. I'm going to put those back and try again. Reversed. Air signs. I'm thinking some of you are just going to be like, you know what? Um, I'm not picking this burden back up. For some of you, the very idea of picking this burden back up makes you restless. It makes you emotional. But with this lover's reverse, you acknowledge the connection, but understand it is, it is not as strong as it was. And that came from healing. Is it there? Yeah. Are you feeling it? No. No. So I really don't see you doing much about it. Except possibly making the emotional decision to not do anything about it. Emperor in the reverse. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. If they are not in balance, they don't have their crap together. If they can't be the Emperor that you need them to be, just keep walking. Just keep walking. It's going to throw you off balance and throw you off track to where you want to be. I, I'm going to say that the card is saying don't do it. Five of Cups reversed and the Empress. Do not let this bring you back into a state of sadness. And don't let any state of sadness that you may have been in before... Let you stray from your goal. Go toward things that are abundant. Let me do one set off of this. I'm going to call it a reading. Nine of Cups reversed. Justice in the reverse. Don't fill your cups with the wrong things here. And be careful what they try to fill your cups with. <laughs> Just remember, if something feels a little bit too good, there's probably definitely a reason for it. And don't let that throw you off balance. No. Oh, no. Hmm. Wow. Okay. All right, gang. It's late. I got to get up and go to the bread and butter job in the morning. So this will probably post 
either sometime after midnight Eastern time or the very wee hours of Monday morning. So again, I apologize for the delay, but thanks for coming by. You guys were wonderful and so patient. So this is good till Friday. Friday morning, I will post the weekend top and bottom for next week. Hopefully. We'll see how things go. I'm trying, guys. I really am. It's just crazy chaos. We're going to keep it going, though, because that's what us Saggies love, right? Crazy chaos. I think we thrive on it. All right. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you wholeheartedly. Let me know what happens. Catch you guys next week.